Greetings Commanders. Welcome back to the channel. And welcome to my Caustic Sync Unlock Tutorial. In this video, I will show you where you need to go, what materials you need, and how to gather them to unlock the Caustic Sync. This is no easy task, we will need to navigate the Thargoid Maelstrom Clouds to gather some of the materials. To do that, we are going to need both a sturdy and fast ship. To meet this criteria, I have chosen the Imperial Clipper. But before we deep dive into the Maelstrom, let's go over the build. For the hard points, I have fitted two medium sized enhanced axe missile racks. We will not be engaging with any Thargoids, but we will need these to destroy the caustic generators, you will see how and why later in the video. For the armor, I have fitted military grade composite and engineered to grade 5 with deep plating. The ship will be under constant caustic attack so high armor points is a must. The 5A power plant provides more than enough power and is engineered with grade 3 armored and thermal spread for integrity and cooling. 6A thrusters engineered with grade 5 dirty drive and drag drives provide the speed we need to evade all the interdictions that we are going to experience. 5A FSD engineered with grade 5 increased range and mass manager will get us quickly to our destination. 5D life support, engineered with grade 1 shielded for a bit more integrity. 6A power distributor, engineered with grade 5 charge enhanced and super conduits. I had this lying around and with it, we can boost the thrusters often. 5A sensors, engineered with grade 1 long range, the caustic generators run cold, so we need very good sensors to be able to target them, but still we have to get really close. The default size fuel tank is fine as it is. In the utility mounts, enhanced Xeno scanner. Once we target the caustic generator, we then need to scan it. Three serious heat sink launchers. We need to use silent running often to sneak up on the caustic generators, so we will need plenty of these. For the optional internals, 7C Universal Multi Limpet Controller. We will need four types of limpets for the job, lucky we have a ship to be able to fit one of these. 5D hull reinforcement package, engineered with grade 5 heavy duty and deep plating. All the hull reinforcement packages have been engineered with grade 5 heavy duty and deep plating, this is to help increase our survival time within the maelstrom. 4E cargo rack for carrying limpets, and the caustic tissue samples that we need to collect. 3A fuel scoop. Thargoid hyperdictions wastes our fuel, and you will get hyperdicted quite often. Standard docking computer fitted for pure laziness. Alright commanders, we are now in a Thargoid maelstrom, time to get our game faces on. First I'll show you how to collect a caustic tissue sample. Approach the caustic generator slowly with silent running. As soon as you are within 1.2 kilometers you will be able to target it, then scan it using the enhanced Xeno scanner. Use the heat sinks to manage the ship's temperature. Once it's scanned, just sub-target and then launch a research limpet. The research limpet may take a moment or two to lock on, because the caustic generator keeps moving, but it will eventually lock on. Engaged. Now that the research limpet is locked on, it will take about a minute to complete taking the sample. Hull integrity compromised. Research limpet successful. Heat safety. All we have to do now is wait for the limpet to come back to us. I recommend you only collect one caustic tissue sample at a time, because I have no corrosion resistant cargo racks fitted. Unfortunately there is a cyclox in the area, listen to what happens when the limpet delivers the tissue sample. Taking damage. Under That's our cue to leave. Cargo scoop retracted. Here is another instance where an interceptor will even attack your research limpet when it has a sample. Collecting the caustic shards and corrosive mechanisms is much easier. 
Simply stay a safe distance away and fire a couple of axe missiles to destroy it. You should now see both caustic shards and corrosive mechanisms free to collect with your collector limpets. Just get within range and collect with your collector limpets as you would anything else. Remember, if you have no corrosion-resistant cargo racks, like me, you will have to bring them back and store them in your fleet carrier one at a time. As soon as you have collected all the required materials, set a course for the nearest rescue ship. Because I only have standard cargo racks, and with the tissue samples being corrosive, I have brought my fleet carrier right next to the rescue ship. Ship released. You are Docking successful, engines disengaged. Now let's find the tech broker and the caustic sink launcher. Here is the full list of materials you will need. Next set a course to see Ramta. The caustic sink launcher can be engineered just like a heat sink launcher. These are all the different ways it can be engineered. However, I would recommend increased ammo capacity. Unfortunately, I have no niobium at the moment, so I better pin the blueprint and get some. I now have some thanks to a raw material trader. Job done. There are probably easier ways of doing this, but fortunately, you only need to do this once. That's because the caustic sink launcher is a one-time unlock. Thanks for watching commanders.